Hello everyone, this time our group will present about our discuss for the final project for inter-education. We will discuss about three topic. The first topic is about mindset. The next one is about education from the character. And the last one is about critical thinking. So our group is consists of five. The first is Bernatus Wilden. Eviona Adela, Natalia Putri, Michael Watik Joyo, and me, Maria Dewi and Amanda. Okay, I will start to ask from the material, the basic release we carry about ourselves, that one her research has to do when the we view in habit, consider of our personality. She Differences, the mindset is from the types, the fixed mindset and the growth mindset. So right now I want to ask all of you guys about what is your mindset right now. Okay, the first is maybe Joy, you will answer in the first. Okay, thank you, Amanda. Okay, hello, friends. Uh, I would like to... Uh, about my about what kind of mindset do I have so, uh, from since I learned from students in school junior high school so high school I have maybe fixed mindset but maybe when I to college uh, now I have good mindset because we need to expand the horizon that many source that we can learn to to be useful for our life. That's my explanation of my mind, mindset. Okay, next to Fiona. The next one is Ona. Maybe Ona have trouble for the internet. So the next one is Wilden. Time is yours. Wilden. Thank you, Amanda. Wilden. The kind of mindset that I have is a girl mindset. I believe that I have a growth mindset because I can improve my musical talent by practicing. When I was in elementary school, I couldn't play a bass at all. Then I practiced and was guided by my brother. I always was listened and imitate how my brother played the bass. And finally, now I can play the bass with all the song that I want to play. Uh, I hear people believe that my bass playing ability can be improved because I have practiced. So that's why I believe that I have a growth mindset. Uh, that's all my explanation explanation about mindset. Okay, thank you, Will. Then, okay, the next one we'll answer is Natalia Putri. Okay, Natalia Putri, time is yours. Thank you, Manda. So I personally think that I have a growth mindset. But after I did the quiz and I know the result, I have a strong mind, a strong group mindset with some fixed ideas. When I take a look at my routine, I think that it was true because I like to take challenges, I like to face new things. But after I take it, I will feel like, um, oh God, why did I take this? I think I cannot uh, finish it and so on. Uh, but after that, I will realize and see again the purpose of why I took it and tried to finish it. Well, the growth mindset itself means that uh, the growth mindset approach helps children feel good in the short term and long term. So here is some kind of my proof when on where I sometimes have the growth and fixed mindset. So this semester, I take a subject outside the LASB and I take the three credit subject because I want to fit the requirements, which is to have the additional 10 credits. In the previous semester, I already take PIPA, 
bahasa Indonesia untuk penutur, penutur asing. And now I want to take curriculum BIPA, but this time is bahasa Indonesia untuk penutur asing. Since the beginning, I already know that this task will talk about curriculum, and I know that this will be harder. One sure thing I know is I used to take the first BIPA, right? And I know that the way to teach was not too different. So I'm sure that I can do it and I want to take this challenge. Finally, I take these subjects. And after some weeks in the class, I realized that it was not really talking about the curriculum itself. And mostly the assignments was to read some PDF file and make a summary from it. And I become, uh, did not want to do it and a little bit lazy. So I just do what I have to do. I only read a glance and write something and then submit it. And then uh, when I feel I do not like it, I don't want to think harder. And this is some of my fixed mindset. I will feel like giving up easily and do not want to uh, lose my hope on something. But praise God, I still have the growth mindset inside me that always reminds me on the purpose why I take this. And by the end of the day, I always uh, finish what I have started. That's all. Okay, thank you. That's great answer. So it's my turn to answer this question. Okay, honestly, I have a grow mindset. I tend to be a grow mindset by considering things considering the pros and cons of every dis decision that I choose. When my friend tells something that very important like her problem, I tend to be apply on road mindset because when I give a solution to the problem, my friend tends to reject the solution and I try to find new solution. And this is increasingly an advanced era. Our thinking is also required to accept many things in terms of technology, culture, and many things that have changed due to the advancement of technology. Some time ago, I also heard in the talk show about LGBT in Indonesia. LGBT in Indonesia is like something new and that difficult to accept because it is not suitable with the culture and the religion in Indonesia. But for myself, LGBT is a choice. I often do see the content of LGBT in YouTube or TikTok about LGBT couples, and I think that is normal. They do have a different way of expressing their affection, and they are comfortable with that. So I just think it's like growth mindset that I have right now. So the next question I want to ask you guys is, how you develop your mindset you have chosen right now. It start from Joy, you will answer first. Time is yours. Okay, on that. Um, in my opinion, how me to develop myself, a uh, good mindset, I learn from exemplary people. You can learn from like Thomas Alva Edison, how he create uh, some research, not, uh, not just uh, what uh, make one research, but he try and try again to make his research to be better, and now we can. Uh, still relevant to this to time this time and to many people uh, of this research so that's I think um, uh, so that's my answer about your vision on that Okay, thank you for joining for answer my question. Now, so the next is will then with answer. 
Yeah, I uh, I believe if we are still practice, surely our talent will develop. So I have to keep practicing to develop uh, our talent, and I think that's my answer to your question. Okay, thank you, Wilton, for answer it. So. I want to answer it too about how me to develop my growth mindset is by reading a lot. Reading is like different, like developing my world. It's not only reading from one sources, but from many sources and many point of view. Why? Because when I'm just read in one point of view, I'm just know it's from one sources and I don't know it's from the other side. So I try to read it in other point of view so I can know all the things happen. And I also learned from my friend when he or her tell her story or his story. I like to listen to them because when I'm listen her story or his story i know his experience and it's listened from me so that's all of my answer so we are moved from the next topic the next um, topic I'm is sorry, i want to give my opinion too about this okay 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 so what i will do to develop my group mindset is to okay. see others perspective and especially in learning i need a lot uh, I need a lot of feedbacks from my teachers and also my friends. So during my micro teaching class, I always ask my friends about their opinions toward my materials and so that I can improve what I need to be improved. And second, I will also appreciate the process of learning because I always believe that there is no useless thing about learning. When I was taking Korean language at at the time, I used to think that it will be useless for me to take this subject. But uh, because I already pay the subject and I try to enjoy the process. And now I can help my cousins to learn to write uh, names in Hangul. And lastly, I will listen to other expectations or advice and learn from exemplary people too. In this term, I learn a lot from my from my cousin from um I learned a lot from my cousins where she went abroad to study for her master's degree. And at first she also did not know how about the language and how to study abroad. But she could finish her college well. And after that, she gave me a lot of advice for me about how she struggles with her studies and her problems and so that I can follow her steps. That's all. Thank you, Manda. Okay, I'm so sorry. I'm forgetting. <laughs> okay, for okay. the next topic is about the education. It's from the character is Ranjis Diesel and Imoto Harushi Isa. Okay, that's two teacher is have wonderful job. They are a true hero from his jobs because they have a beautiful and wonderful inspiration from their students. So right now I want to ask you about the first question is inspiration drawn from his mother taught him to keep high expectation to all people around him. I want to know the answer is from Joy. Yeah. My opinion from uh, Imoto Mothers. Um, it is very, very uh, helpful to, to especially children uh, or son or daughter. So, it can make them more confidence so problem that 
um, like maybe difficulties when learning, also maybe cuss, uh, and then the parents is also the primary of the education. So from family, the emoto can um, teach to other for next generation. So so can be more uh, be more better than when she still in still study. That's my answer, Manda. Okay, thank you, Joy. The next one will answer is will then. Time is yours. Think, things that are bad can easily change into best if you want to. That's the philosophy Imoto Haruisa took from his mother. After hearing that, I also had the thought of thought that if we believe what we can do, cannot do, we will someday be able to do it. It inspired me. If I fail in an attempt, I will keep trying until I success and finish it. That's related related to my grow mindset. Uh, we have to practice and practice. That's all my opinion. Thank you. Okay, thank you. Well then, okay, the next is Natalia Putri. So time is yours. Thank you, Manda. And from Imoto's mother, I can learn to believe in everyone and also be patient. Her mother always give encouragement and positive words to her son so that her son can have a strong will to live his life. As a future teacher, we also need to say positive words and we need to pour much love and attention because from our society and the children's uh, surrounding, it might, it might influence the students to be better or not. So we also need to give love and courage so that uh, they can be open to us, especially when they face problems or difficulties, they can share it and uh, we can give advice for them. That's all. How about you? Okay, thank you. So now I want to answer it is, I really agree with that statement because why? Because all people is have same potential in a subject. So we to know it because they may be not show it. So they have same chance to become successful. But we must remember all success is to have different ways. So don't compare someone with another. And it should apply when a child because when someone child they learn everything so when he becomes an adult and older he becomes someone to who treat someone or anyone with a good attitude so thanks that's all of my answer so we next from the next question is this is inspiration drawn from how Imoto Haruhisa managed to keep a clinic relationship for his student. I want to know your opinion. It starts from Joy. Time is yours, Joy. Um, my opinion to keep relationship with students by from the they kind of, they like most so it can be more is is easily to they can learn so they can um feels um profit so encourage them so they feel comfort 
happy with us. So when we are happy, uh, the material that and really and relation that we uh, built from uh, teacher to student can be uh, effective. Okay, that's my answer, Manda. Okay, thank you, Joy. The next is Wilden. Wilden, time is yours. Okay. Imoto is described as highly flexible making friends with all his students. It's Imopro, which holds his students respect Imoto. Also, Imoto doesn't mind if his student has the wrong answer. Imoto just want to know how his student finished the answer. That's the kind of things that I have to emulate if one day I become a teacher. I will also create a fun classroom atmosphere, a good relationship between teacher and students. Students, students sorry, I will teach students sincerely. Uh, that's all my explanation. Thank you. Okay, thank you, Will. Then, okay, the next will answer is Natalia Putri. Time is yours. Okay, thank you. So, about Imoto Harus Haruhisa on how he can manage his relationship with the students are firstly, we need to have good relationship, good characteristics, so that we can build a good relationship with the students. We should be cheerful, lovable, honest, and we should be open to the students. And when we make mistakes with the students, just tell the students and do not hide it. And uh, we also need to approach the students first. Imoto always approach the students first. And it was a good thing to build the relationship with the students. Because Imoto believed that if we do not approach the students first, they won't go to us. So we need to open ourselves and have good characteristics so that the students can see and imitate the good character from us. Thank you. Okay, thank you for answering that's good answer. So I want to answer it too. I like the way Imoto is have good relationship with his student in a class and I like the way he talking and have a class with his student and it's feel like just fun and not bored and all the student is enjoy. It's I got from him. So when someday I become a teacher, I will treat and practice its best from Imoto teacher. And I feel like when he know one by one, all his students in the class is feel like, oh, it's the teacher is really care about all the students in the class. He know my name, he know my friends, all the things in the class is well prepared. It's so great. And all the all the student is enthusiastic when join his class. So that's all my answer. The next question from this topic is inspiration from Drow, how Imoto Hiro, Haruhisa's dedication to serving all students of any walks of life. I want to know the opinion first from Joy. Joy, time is yours. Uh, I think. Sorry, sorry. Education to serving the inspiration that we can uh, give our totality to to teaching to student without any um, with our hearts and our student is our priority, so they can be more effective to, to, to understand that we are 
care about them. So, um, we, are, we can give our inspiration to them and they can learn from us too. Okay, we'll can just continue for a second. Will do. Oh, yeah. Uh, when I become a teacher, the first thing is I will create a comfortable classroom atmosphere for my students, uh, strengthen relationship with students, and give the and give students freedom in solving teaching and learning problems. Uh, I will also apply that as a parent to my child. So that my child can study comfortably. That's all. Okay, thank you, Wilton, for answering. The next is Natalia Putri. Time is yours. Okay, thank you, Manda. So I think Imoto has dedicated his life for the students. Uh, that's why he could uh, what is manage his lifetime and the school time and he could also uh, pour uh, all of his heart to the students and I think he also sees the students equally and that a good example for us as a future teacher because as a teacher we need to uh, what is uh, ex we need to see the students equally and don't uh, see one is higher than the other, something like that. Thank you. Okay, thank you. Okay. Um, inspiration for Imoto is, it's like great example for us to be future teacher. And I want to like him is really great for serving all students he know one by one all his students not just one not just two but all and he will prepare when he want to teaching a class and prepare all the material is not boring not boring it's not like just a and b but he prepare and as all of his teacher is have participant for his class so it's I want to try when I have a, I become a teacher future. Okay, the next is we will discuss about the last topic in this meeting is about critical thinking. I want to know you guys and answer it about wait, where is the curriculum? of critical thinking is the first question is what kinds of curriculum did your previous schools teach you okay the first will answer it joy joy time is yours hey thank you Amanda. um previous previous curriculum that i learned because yeah, maybe um from my experience that um kurtilas ya kurikulum 2013 uh, so it's curriculum teach us to be more active when we um to to search many material from many many media like internet or um magazine and uh, also eh, yeah and then so like uh, from the different cortilas is that the student need more active to to learn based on my experience uh uh when i still in in 
attend uh, high school, uh, I'm still at SP or kolom 2006 ya. So it, it change many changes because uh, at SP uh, curriculum that uh, teach uh, the curriculum make uh, teacher to may many give our material so our student just learn from teacher but the, from the, uh, the different to Kurtilas uh, to 13 make student to to be uh, individual to such the material and then the difference is for uh, revisi uh, bukan, revisi yeah update for rutilas they can can be more uh, active like in um, make some like ppt powerpoint or many presentation to i think it is the curriculum make student to be more confident like uh, um, speaking in public so it help them to for especially like in when they do our job or maybe uh, many things that can be life like when, maybe when they are become a teacher or parent that's all my so Amanda. Okay, thank you, Jay, for answer. And the next one will answer is Wilden. So, Wilden, time is yours. Okay, the Wilden, you curriculum. can start, answer. Sorry. Okay. The type of curriculum that I got at my purview school is the student were required to be more independent in studying the material given by a teacher. Or the teacher as a student companion in the learning process. So we are taught to be independent. That's the type of curriculum in my preview school. Okay, thank you, Wilton, for answering. So the next one is Natalia Putri. Time is yours. Okay, thank you. So during my high school time, I joined an international school with ACE curriculum or accelerated Christian education, which allows students to graduate faster after they finish their own task. So I decided to go there because first, I love to learn language. And second, I heard that there was no homework and assignments. Of course, I would love to get there. But at that time, I still do not understand the class procedure. I was thinking I do not need to do much. But in reality, I have to catch much. So the task was like doing a module with the levels there. And you got the levels after the first time you did the quiz. One grade equals 12 levels. And one module is for one level. When you cannot do well during the quiz, you get lower score and lower level. And it will cause you to, to catch much to get into your own. So you can graduate after you finish all of those modules and also the other requirements. And so that is about my curriculum. And there was nothing special about the education. We only did the modules and had some extracurricular activities such as basketball, drawing, and crochet. But what is interesting is in, in this school, we have a student convention where all of the schools in Indonesia with ACE curriculum will gather together and have some competitions there. And in student convention, we can build and find new abilities 
uh, in ourselves. For example, like in academics, we have uh, we have biblical education or about geography, or in athletics such as soccer team and basketball relay something like that, or in handcraft such as photography and so on. So in this school, I guess we have not thought to think critically yet, but it is more focused on how we can see and find our own talent. So I still uh, praise God that I'm, and I'm happy to be graduated from this school because it gives me opportunities to meet more students from other cities or even com countries because I used to go abroad to join the Boys Brigade Pista, or in Indonesia, we call it Jambore, and it was such a memorable thing for me to win some competitions there, and I could know what I like to do and what I can do, and what I cannot do that need more practice. But when I compare it with the four components of digital literacy skills, I realized that I'm very lack of it and I can say that I am left behind. I only get used to how we can collaborate to others and how to communicate well, but I have not thought to think critically yet and I'm very lack about the creativity. That's all, Mane. Thank you. Okay, thank you for answering. So it's my turn to answer the question. For my precious school, it's from high school. Quality curriculum is same with joy. It's curriculum 13. It's a uh, learn about like public speaking because all of my teacher is us, all of the students become have a good skill for public speaking and we are prepare all material independent but for the quiz and all the tasks is prepared by with the teacher but the special i got from my high school is um the experience we while we learn is we become more independent we will prepare and know more about our material and we have uh, discuss. we discuss a lot in group, we make a presentation in class and teach our friends like peer group and the teacher is uh, accompanying the student in the class. So that's what I got from my high school. So we, the next for the last question in this meeting is about how much were you facilitated into engage in critical skills. The first will answer is joy. Joy, time is yours. Bye. For me, we need to make our uh, program or uh, maybe schedule to uh, attend positive activities that can be improve our perspective, also the our uh, learn something new and bring us to uh, our uh, maybe the the what kind we what what can the target of uh growth mindset we 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 want we want to okay that's all Monday. Okay, thanks, Joy, for answering. The next will answer is will. Time is yours. Thank you. In critical thinking skills, especially at my previous school, 
we as a student get facilities such as a library, internet, a teacher as a companion, and sometimes there are colleges who come to school to share their knowledge about the material. We are also free to seek material from various sources, but we do it independently. Uh, that's all my explanation. I want to hear from Natalia. Okay, thank you, Wilden. So, uh, for me, uh, my previous school is, uh, I can say it's quite new back then. Uh, so, we still don't have uh, like library or canteen, but once uh, my teacher called uh, a, per, a people, a person from Japan, and she taught us how to do the, the origami from her country, something like that. And about to think critically, uh, I think my school haven't taught us to think critically yet. But uh, what is? We only get used. Uh, we only get how to. We only thought how to find our talent. So it's more about how we can do, not how we think. That's all. Okay. Thank you for answering. So it's my turn to answer the question too. Uh, in my previous previous school, all the teacher is us. All of students have a critical thinking. With we must to read one book before we start to in class start class. So when class we just discuss all the time for uh two hours. Two hours we discuss and we not to read down our note, but we just discussed. And for the next, in the quiz, we have a we have quiz is like, apa? We have quiz on just discuss, it's like that. So it's fun, but we must to prepare all the material in a book or many book in library and many sources in internet. So I like it because I don't like to write down all the notes because it's just read and remember and try to get new something and internet. So that's all of my experience in high school. So it's all of our discussion in this meeting. Thank you guys. And thank you for watching our talk show today. So thank you guys. Thank you. See you. Which mindset keep in your mind? I have fixed mindset and I release it. I am very easy to give up when I am faced with new things. I am just focused with my achievement. And I always ask my friends what score they get. So if they get the high score than me, I will be disappointed and feel I am a loser and I can't be better. And also, I believe that intelligence is derived from our parents. And it's only natural that if my parents were lacking in math lesson, then I would be like that too. And nothing could be done to change that. How you develop your mindset? Give an example. First, I change the way I think. I try to hone my skills. I think that if other people can do what I cannot do that. For example, before I don't know to swim and I thought I would never be able to swim in because I was not born with talent in that field. However, day by day I release more and more that I if I tried it first I would definitely be able to swim 
Then after I tried and tried again, I became good at swimming. And I faced challenge bravely. I faced the problem wisely and looked for the good solutions. If I feel afraid to face a serious challenge, I stop for a moment and change the situation in my mind. I think that your ch my challenge as opportunities. Example, if I get a low score, after that I will try to study hard until I get a high score. Experience is the best lesson to get a chance to grow. Inspiration from Imoto, how his mother taught him to keep a high expectation to all people around him. Imoto Haruhisa's mother shaped him and taught him well that nothing is impossible. All things can be done. Imoto Haruhisa have learned from his mother about the bad things that we have can be changed to the best thing someday if we trying the better for them. Bad is good and bad is best is the principle to create a critical elements of learning. Modify the presumption on bad is bad and bad is worse to be something valuable as the acceptance part of learning, which is the goal, goal of teaching. He learned it from his mother who loves and accepted him as he is. His mother make her children see that all people are the same, have extraordinary abilities. Here, the mother of Imoto Haruhisa teaches how to respect other people and never give up in all situations and conditions. He gives positive energy for his children to reach their goals. Inspiration drawn from how Imoto Haruhisa managed to keep a genuine relationship with his students. Imoto Haruhisa makes his students like his friends, but even so, his students still behave politely to him. Imoto teaches that going to school is not just about looking for values, but learning how to use the brain to think and find the right solution according to your unique way. He created a fun classroom atmosphere. Come to study not only focus on lessons and values, but the way students process. Inspiration drawn from Imoto Haruhisa education to serving all students of any walks of life. I'm very inspired by Imoto Haruhisa of the way he dedication to serving all students of any walks of life. Imoto Haruhisa is a kind person. He dedicates his life. In fact, most of his time was spent teaching his students. For me, it was difficult, but Imoto Haruhisa can do it. This inspired me to be a good teacher or educator in the future. It doesn't only but focus on providing learning material to students but can also create a safe and comfortable classroom environment for students so that teacher relationship between students can be harmonious. What kind of curriculum did your previous school teach you? The curriculum that my previous school applies is the 2013 curriculum, where this curriculum requires students to be more active than teachers. Attitude and character values take precedence over academic values. This curriculum taught me to be more disciplined, smart, independent, and able to socialize with other people. The problem with this curriculum is that there are many teachers who miss understanding because they think that the 2013 curriculum does not need to explain the material to students, even though there are many lessons that must be explained by the teacher. How much were you facilitate to engage in critical thinking skill? Uh, very much. For example, technological advances 
digitalization and the creative economy. There I must have learning skills, literacy skills and life skills so I can follow in current development because along with the times more and more problems will be faced especially in the current digital era. The more information circulating on social media for that critical thinking skills must be improved so that we not only accept real information but try to find out the threat the cases and dig deeper into it.